welcome back. Still running propane these three tanks into this guy right here. This is the exact same thing I was using on the 4.0 VFA. No changes whatsoever. Again, a quick modification to this dude. Five minute uh, job, that's it. What am I running right now? Okay. 58.5 hertz. One leg I got 3,658 or whatever uh, watts. The other 3,000, yeah, well, this is a 6,500 watt uh, jet set. So without a doubt, I reached the capacity of this guy right here. Again, using this guy right here, just took it off of the uh, 4.0 BFA sit back there, slapped it on here. Five minute drill job right here, very simple. No other adjustments, I just had a, just do a slight little tweak of this guy. I just had to open up just slightly. This is a bigger guy right here, 6.5 kilowatts as opposed to 4.0. What am I running tonight over here? Uh, I got some heaters. One, two, three, four, five, six. The big guy back there, uh, I melted the plug on that uh, the other day, so that's out of commission. I think I'll the capacity right now. Once again, there's our numbers right here. This carburetor is uh, doing great, no problem. Let's start backing down some of these guys right here. Uh, let's see here. Listen to the motor. Okay, just shut off, about 1,500 watts right there. Motor sound okay, no hunting whatsoever. Okay, let's shut off. Another 1,500 watts. Okay, what do we got on the box? Alright, let's shut some more off over here. I guess I'm just going to start pulling plugs. Alright, I think I shut off this piece of crap. Again, the motor, you know, slight variation, not bad. And, uh, listening for hunting and things like that, some abnormalities, but so far it sounds pretty good. What else do I got plugged in here? I don't even know. Uh, I'll plug this guy right here. I think it's that guy. Alright, so uh, what are we down to now? What else we got going here? I don't know. Let's see here. All right. I heard a slight variation in the motor, but still no hunting. What are we down to? All right, good. And is anything else plugged in? I don't know. Oh yeah, we had this guy right here. Motor sped up just a slight bit, but it leveled out. All right, again, running propane. I was able to reach full capacity with this uh, 6.5 NH. Once again, it's a gasoline model. Uh, with a Nikki car, gasoline car. Uh, the only thing we did was throw this uh, contraption on that I uh, whipped up in my garage. The only modification, I just had to drill a hole in the tube. Here, I'll show you on this guy right here. You see that? You see that hole? You see it down in there? That's the choke. It has to be done in uh, the right spot. So when... Uh, you stick the uh, contraption in, it'll open up the choke automatically, as you can see, all right? But again, the only modification you need to make to your gen set is to just to drill a hole in the proper spot. Again, if you got this kind of uh, air filter duct, which is quite common with the RV model. The 4.0 BFA ran perfect. I was able to bring this well over max capacity on propane. No hunting, no problems whatsoever. Just took this uh, contraption off it on here uh, after drilling the appropriate hole which took five minutes I took most of the uh, time was measuring it out it runs perfect no problem whatsoever this is the original cap right here that was on my 6.5 NH but again once you make one of these all you need is this guy right here you probably get off the junk uh, gen set just whip it up you know by uh, drilling and put in the appropriate apparatus and even the demand regulator, although it's on this guy right here, it's not causing any problems with vibration. But ultimately, I do want to put vibration dampeners. No question about it. This is just a uh, quick five-second type of uh, prototype, if you want to call it that. But this thing is running everything from a 4.0 to a 6.5. And I know that this has a lot more capacity. You see this valve right here? Okay. If I uh, go like that all the way up, then I'm going to get full flow, okay? As you can see, I'm not near full flow yet. If I was like here, it would be shut off. So I'll pretty much, I'm only halfway. So this thing, without a doubt, is going to run anything, any of these gen sets whatsoever, uh, regardless of, uh, of wattage. The main thing 
is that you have this type of duct work. All right, and again, this is a, a five second thing. The only thing that I had to spend money on was this guy right here, the demand regulator. All these other parts I had. This guy right here, this is nothing more than a three quarter inch uh, PEX valve. This is PEX right here, some rings, and just some uh, brass fittings, okay? Uh, I did post some uh, uh, pictures of the tube that extends into the carburetor. But again, this is a, a Nikki carb. The one on the 4.0 is a wall broke. It works equally as far as uh, adapting and opening the choke automatically so you don't forget to open the choke. And as soon as I pop it off, I put the uh, original cap back on way over yonder. I can run gasoline and it'll be fine. Okay. How long does it take to do the, do the switch from, uh, let's say, uh, 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 vapor to gasoline? Just these two thumb nuts right here. Pull it out, wrap the original cap back on here, and uh, plug the uh, fuel pump back in, you're in business. All right, so this thing's working pretty good. Okay, that's about it. What else can I say?